Hi my friends, today we are going to talk about useref hook. Useref hook is generally used in React to access nodes and elements in the DOM. We can make changes on the elements to which we assign this hook, as we do in vanilla JavaScript. Let's start with a simple example to better understand its use. I'm creating a variable, let's say const example ref. You can give any name you want, and then we call use ref hook. And then I'll create a paragraph tag, let's say p. Okay, and the inside it, I write something random. React is a framework of JavaScript. Okay, I save it. So we forgot to import the useRef hook from React. So let's import it. Import useRef from react okay now we will use the ref keyword to to connect this ref with the paragraph tag so let's write the name of the use ref hook example ref i save it now let's print uh, the example ref to the console to see the context of this example ref. Here I will use use effect hook. Let's use it here. Use effect. Console.log example ref okay i save it you may be wondering why i use use effect hook because this this example ref initially becomes null after the rendering process is completed the example ref we created here will be assigned to this paragraph tag that's why we use use effect hook here so i refresh the page and open the console as you can see our object appears in the console we can access the element with the current key if you want to go into the details of the current page we can see the paragraph tag we created and the, the tags we wrote here. Thanks to useRef, we can access any element and uh, we can do everything we do with vanilla JavaScript on this element. I mean in React. To see this more closely, let's add a button and uh, see it with, uh, with an example. So let's try change color. Save it. Let's write a function that will run when this button is clicked and that this function will make our text red. So I will create a function here, function change text color. We will use example ref in this function as reference current style dot color red now let's let's associate this function with the button that we have just created so when we click this button let's trigger the function so we write the name of the function I save it, refresh the page, uh, 
I refreshed again okay when I collect the, this button as you can see the text inside the paragraph turned red in this way we can access the elements in the DOM using useref hook and the perform the wanted operation this was just an, a simple example anything you can think of can be done on DOMs and their children by useref hook for example you can also write a uh, HTML code by using useref hook it just depends on on the need in your project I want to show it and continue so let's say example ref dot current dot inner html now we will write uh, html codes here so let's say h h2 tag let's try something i'm h2 tag from change color function I save it I refresh the page when I click the change color button as you can see we can make all kinds of changes on the DOM what I am talking about isn't about react anyway we are just taking a look at how we can do things that we do with vanilla JavaScript using useref hook in react now i would like to talk about another usage purpose of useref hook we can also hold values in a variable using useref so what we mean in useref is like a box that can hold mutable value what i mean here is, here is that we can create an object and hold many values in it so let's do it you will understand better with example let's say object example one we create an object and we hold values in it let's say name Harun and age is 26 save it let's say we created such an object every time our component is rendered this object is recreated over and over that's it the place of this object in memory con constantly changes. this is something that may affect performance depending on your project however if you don't want the object to be recreated over and over with each render we can use useref hook instead I mean we can do like this const object example 2 we can use use ref hook here and uh, inside it we can pass an object let's use the same values okay, I say it again this object will remain constant in memory and they will not be recreated in each render by the way there is one more thing i would like to add when the value of the object we created here uh, changes it doesn't cause a re-render operation it is not like a state let's try to understand better on examples i'm clean i am cleaning up my app I don't need them anymore okay I save it let's create a value using useref hook again let's say const counter useref the initial value is zero then I add a button here so button 
say increase increase ref counter then I want to add the console log to try to, to try to keep track of changes so let's say console.log counter I'll get it under the counter okay and then let's write the function which allows us to increase this counter value so let's do it here function increase counter counter dot current plus echo one now let's associate this function with the button with the button I mean we have already created it so let's say when we click this button sorry we don't need arrow function here we can directly call this uh, function inside the curly brackets so let's say increase counter okay I save it refresh the page okay when we click this button this function will run and our counter will be increased but if you remember what I just said changes made on the useref hook will not cause a re-render operation so when I click this button the counter value will be increased in the background but, but since my component is not re-rendered I will not be able to see these changes uh, at the console if I create a state and associate it with a button that will update it you can see that this counter is increased in the background but didn't cause a re-render let's do it I will create a state quickly let's say render operation set render operation false I will import the use state hook from react okay we have created our state now I will create a button So let's write render component. I quickly add an onclink event to update this state. So it will cause a render operation and we will see the uh, counter value. Let's write onclick. I will write the arrow function quickly. Set render operation. I save it refresh the page the functions the function are the function is ready I click the uh, increase ref counter a few times I clicked it but nothing happens but when I click on the button that will uh, cause re render my component I can see the counter value here useref doesn't cause a re-render but it runs in the background the most important point we need to know here is that when we create an object or a value using useref hook this variable is not recreated in the memory at every render it always stays in the same place in the memory if you don't know the topic I mentioned or if it sounds very foreign you can look at memory management subject but to summarize in to summarize it in a, a few words for example I can say all the variables we created are stored somewhere in memory 
but every value that we don't create with useref hook uh, gets recreated in RAM every time the component renders. This is unneeded operation for us. That's why we use useref hook. I hope what I said was informative. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.